And at 6.49, it's time now for your pinpoint weather and traffic together. Pete, I understand we're going to be tracking a little bit of rain later today. That's right, Danielle. Remember once upon a time when I was saying that humidity will be low today, no chance of showers? Well, that pattern is gone. This one takes over temporarily today. Here's a loop of live pinpoint Doppler 12 over the past hour. Notice a few little green patches pushing on through. These are some light showers and sprinkles. We had a report of some sprinkles over towards a West Warwick and the Warwick area. So every once in a while, you may see one of these showers pass on through this morning. The threat of heavier rain and thunderstorms moves in throughout the late afternoon and evening. So, of course, you uh, look at this graph with a grain of salt. Obviously, if you've already seen some showers, this would be 100. But this is, on average, a chance of more showers moving through between about 9 and 9 o'clock. So not everybody gets these. But notice how we increase the chance as we go throughout the late afternoon and early evening. And the best chance of some heavier storms would be after, say, 4 or 5 p.m all the way through maybe 8 or 9 tonight. So that cold front will take a while to get here. In Providence right now, if we are raining, it's not raining very hard. No raindrops right now on the camera lens. 72 is your temperature, but it does have that moist feel in the atmosphere. Dew points at 68, winds out of the south at 8 miles an hour. So even if you're not seeing the showers this morning, it's possible you'll see some mist with that humidity so high. 70 right now in New Bedford, 66 in Taunton, 68 Smithfield, and 72 right now in Westerly. So certainly warmer than we were at this time yesterday. Satellite picture shows a warm front off to our west. Most of the showers off to our west as well, but notice a few green specks floating through southern New England right now. But here's a cold front. This pushes through very late tonight. The warm front scoots in ahead of that, and that'll keep the chance of showers in the forecast, especially this evening. 75 in Charlestown today, 77 Westerly, Newport at 75. The wind's coming in out of the south, at first not very strong, and then increasing between about 10 and 15 into the afternoon. Could see some gusts up to around 20. So it's not the best beach day in the world, that's for sure. 81 in Johnson today, 80 Cumberland. Foster gets up to around 80 degrees. Uh, with that muggy feel in the air. Eastern Massachusetts temperatures into the upper 70s. For the most part, Taunton gets up to 81 degrees. This Wareham temperature should be knocked down into the upper 70s. Seekonk gets up to 80 in mid 70s from Middletown down to Little Compton. Also keep in mind, even when it's not raining at the beach, there will be periods of some fog and those low clouds will tend to want to hang around for a good portion of the day here at the beach. So I know the dog here isn't too happy about that, but what are you going to do? A much nicer forecast on the way for the weekend. Out on the water, waves two to four feet, high tide 727 in the morning, low tide 1250 in the afternoon. Of course, visibility will be much lower than seven miles under any developing shower or patch of fog. Seven day future cast shows look at Saturday 90 mostly sunny on Sunday. We are at 87 degrees with mostly sunny skies. So it's a warm pattern as we move towards the weekend on Monday. Chance of some showers and storms with highs in the upper 80s. I have 87 for Tuesday 89 mostly sunny on Wednesday and a chance of some showers and storms on Thursday. Tony is in tonight live at five with another update on your weather forecast. Now we go over to jam cam traffic with Bob Hanna. Hey Bob.